Everybody's talking about the worst case scenario. Everybody's talking specifically about a land invasion of Ukraine. And all of the Western responses that we've heard, including from Boris Johnson, are tied to that one very specific event because everybody seems to have been mesmerized by this troop buildup opposite the Ukrainian border. The problem is there is so much else that Russia could do to cause damage, to try and reinforce these demands to roll back the clock and roll back NATO that you heard Lord Dana talking about just now. And those wouldn't necessarily involve moving troops into Ukraine. In fact, the more we say that that is the one single event that is going to trigger a Western response, the less likely it is to happen and the more likely Putin is to look for other ways of making his displeasure felt. Well, let's talk about those other ways. Are we sort of looking at the sort of tampering or manipulation of the cost of energy in Europe that plays very much into, you know, Russian leverage when it comes to geopolitics? Or are there other things that you think Russia could do to threaten us? When we talk about Russia manipulating energy prices and using energy as a weapon, as with so much else, we need to talk about them doing it more than they already are doing at this point. In a lot of these cases, it's a question of degree. Let's not forget that when we talk about an invasion of Ukraine, we're talking about Russia invading it more than it already has. Ukraine's already been at war for eight years. And that also goes for a lot of the other measures that Russia could actually take. If it's cyber attacks, if it's destabilization, if it's subversion, trying to bring about some kind of regime change without actually invading the country. That's part of the standard Russian practice for getting its way in geopolitical terms around Europe. So we need to be alert to all of the different things that we have already seen, as well as new threats emerging, like, for example, what could Russia do with those naval exercises you mentioned off the coast of Ireland, which Irish parliamentarians have pointed out is in a location which is pretty inconvenient for shipping lanes, flight paths, subsea cables. Let's not be too surprised if there is some kind of uh, fictitious emergency or fictitious incident that happens during those exercises, because Ireland too is a non-NATO member, just like Ukraine. 